Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? 35. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a school safety specialist. Um, I do private protection on the side. I'm a restaurant investor. Um, if you're ever in DC, Horace and Dickies, okay. uh, that's what we uh, invest in, uh, in addition to private protection. Nice, nice. And now, what are some things you like to do for fun? For me, play basketball, watch basketball, learn about myself. Okay. Um, I love to go to the gym. I love to be home. You know, I'm a homebody for real. Uh -huh. I love to travel. Okay. And uh, this is um, pink dress. This is her type right here. Pink dress. This is her type. When she said she was looking for a man, this is what she goes for. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone who's built off affirmations and self love. Because I feel like that's a strong woman, you know? Okay. Someone who knows exactly what they want and where they're going. Got it, got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, someone who is in, who's angry, you know, all the time, uh, who isn't humble, who isn't nice, who isn't kind, um, and who just, I guess, don't have no motivation and desire to be better, Okay, you know, I would say. Okay, sure. nice. So we don't have any pop balloons. Yeah. You're doing well, Antoine. <laughs> all right, so for the first round, I am going to have you pop two balloons. Okay. Just off of what you're seeing so far, what's not really your type, so let me hand you a pick. Sure. There you go. I'm and then big girl. Okay, no, you're good. Do whatever you gotta do. Go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll ask you why ended up popping. Big girl, skinny girl. Big girl, skinny girl. Go ahead. Yeah, we already know. Okay, big and then girl. one more. Big girl. We already know you're gonna pick her. Yep. Okay. Let's start right here. <laughs> we can have your name and age. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. And Tanisha, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear him out. I feel like he has a great fit and nope, she finds him extremely attractive. Somebody she wish she prayed to God that will bless her with a man like this, but not no. She doesn't work on herself, so she can't get guys like this. So she's praying for God for guys like this. That's the only reason she kept a balloon on fire. Like she'll like she'll give up anime for guys like this oops um i liked what i heard so far so yeah Got it. and now anton why do we end up popping her balloon um just you know just not my type yeah um big on energy you know so for me i'm a no you know that's pretty much it for sure Got it. he was talking about her weight her weight too much she's too she's too large and then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Nai. Well, Naya, but I go by Nai Monet. I'm 26. And why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I had it unpopped because I, he's a smooth talker. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you hear of green flags and you also hear red flags. But um, anyways, he's a smooth talker. So I was interested in listening to what I was hearing. She liked him. That's all she did. I don't know why they just can't be honest. They find him attractive and stuff. That's what they was all going to say. They find him attractive. He doesn't find them attractive. These two are always gonna get kicked out the line every single time, and they don't. It's like they, they, nobody want to tell them like you two are just gonna be no every single time. No, 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 no. One is too cocky and one is too big. That's all it is. Like she's trying to name other variables. No, you find him attractive. He don't find you attractive. That's all it is. It's hearing, um, but yeah, them pants are a little too tight to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. And now, why did we end up popping her balloon? Just wasn't my type, you know. Um, I'm okay. not, I'm not here to go viral from disrespecting no female. So, I mean, just not my preference. I'm not yours. Well, I was yours, but my jeans is a little too tight, but that's fine. Feelings mutual, baby. I appreciate. It. <laughs> I appreciate. You have it. a nice smile. Appreciate. It. Okay, let's head yeah. on back. Okay, so I'm gonna have you ask the remaining ladies a question. Ladies, um, how's your mental health? Like, cause I feel like. You have to be mentally healthy to even start a friendship or relationship or anything like that. Okay. All right. Let's start here with Hi. your name and age and then answer this question. Hi. Um, first of all, you smell amazing. You're Appreciate lighting up the entire room. Appreciate it. I told you guys, that's her type. That's her type. Them Pookies and Tyrone, that's her type. I'm not saying he is one, but I'm saying that's her type. She is legit has a type. Um, my mental health. Your name. He doesn't know your Ooh, name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Layla Elise. My mental health is phenomenal. 
Um, I work on it daily. I'm very big on self mastery, self growth. She said phenomenal, guys. Her mental health is phenomenal. When you work on yourself, guys, you're going to get women saying phenomenal. You'll be like, so what, what's your physique like? Oh, my physique is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I read a lot. That's literally my world. Um, and so what I realized is that if I don't work on myself and develop myself, I'll continue to be miserable, unhappy, angry, frustrated, you know, being in bad situations. Mm -hmm. So it was really crucial for me to start that journey and i've been on it for a while so i think i'm in a phenomenal mental space i love that mm -hmm. sure okay, let's go over here with your name and age and ask this question hey i'm serena i'm 29 and uh my mental health is really great uh the gym has helped me with a lot of my mental health some things i am still working on daily is um it's just patience and so i don't tolerate anything that's toxic or negative simply because i'm a calm person and um i'm very spiritual so anything that's too heavy on my soul or spirit i just get it out of my life so i'm 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 not patient with anybody that's negative but overall my mental health is great it's amazing All right name and age and answer to this question i'm jordan i'm 27 and i'm actually a licensed therapist and i don't share that to say that you should assume that my mental health is great because of that but I, I think I'm qualified to be able to answer the question. And I have good days and bad days. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. He said, what do you think about your mental health? Like, where's your mental health at? She feels like self-evaluating herself is make her qualify compared to other people just can't talk about their mental health. How do you... So uh, the rest of us people that's not therapists can't quite, can't speak about mental health because we're not therapists. That that's like the biggest red flag, guys. That's like the biggest red. Like this is somebody who got an ego that you can't even imagine. I feel like I'm more qualified because to answer this because I'm a therapist. That doesn't mean I have a good mental health just because I'm a therapist. Like, lady, just answer the goddamn question. Like. How do you feel like you're qualified to answer about your mental health and other people are not because they're not therapists? Like, when has that been the qualifier? Like, when has that been the qualifier for you to talk about your mental health? You have to be a therapist. A lot of us ain't therapists. We can still talk about our mental health, though. Like, she used to believe she's more qualified. That's... Dang. But here's the therapist in a balloon show trying to find love. Like the, the so called overqualified individuals in a balloon show trying to find love and stuff. Make it make sense. Well, I've made a career out of pouring into other people's cups, and sometimes that leaves yours empty. And so I um, am working on being more intentional about that. But a great release for me is basketball, actually. I'm a washed up retired Hooper. Um, I, love <laughs> I love the game. Um, and so that helps me a lot. I'm very. Ask her questions about certain stats and certain who won the who won the last five NBA championships, who won the last three MVPs, who was the most improved player. Ask her about players and them stats, who's winning what and who's doing what. If she's really about the NBA life and stuff like that, she will know these answers. Very conscious of my mental health because of my profession. So okay. it's outstanding. Um, I played basketball as well. I don't care y'all feel I dunk on you though. What position? <laughs> what position? One through four. Yeah. So I do a little of everything. Point four. Promise. What did you do well? Pass the ball, be a good leader. <laughs> good leader. Um, I was always a leader in everything I've done. So yeah. I was a point guard. Okay. I was more assistant points as well. Okay. Okay. Our next lady, your name and age, and answer this question. Hi, uh, my name is Candy and I'm 29. And I would say my mental health is well. I'm really glad that you brought that up and asked that question. I am an affirmation girly. So I have about 20 affirmations that I go through daily and I, I speak to myself. Um, and I also started a jar um, that I put positive things that have happened to me throughout the year in. And then at the end of the year, I will read it to myself and kind of reflect. So that's one of the things that I would inspire my partner to do um, as far as um making sure our mental health is good yeah stuff. okay and we did get a pop balloon why did, let's start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon hi i'm kendra i'm 29 
I know you're like probably shocked by this. Um, we follow each other on social media. I know you're from a past episode. For me, the pop balloon was not from here. It's from how I perceived after you came off the episode. I I work in a very like um, exposed industry. And so like how my partner represents me is really important. And I want someone that's like the kind of like act like you've been there before. Or and after you came off your episode, it was like all thirst traps. Like I just get the feeling that like you're enjoying the fact that so many women thought you were so attractive because you are on paper, like chef's kiss. But I just need someone who is focused on my admiration and not every woman's admiration. Awesome. Okay. Uh, can I respond to Definitely. that? Definitely. Go ahead. Um, I get how it could be seen. I mean, looks can be deceiving. You know, I just love myself unconditionally. So it may be seem like I'm thirst trapping, but I don't comment on anybody who's sending me messages or sending me comments under my pictures. You be pinning those videos, comments though. Cause I think they're funny. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if somebody's giving you affirmations, right? And you think they are good affirmations, that's fine. You know? I would never argue about social media validation with women. I would never in my life argue with a woman about social media validation god we cannot we are not in the same zone when it comes to this guys for him to sit here and explain himself saying that oh you may not hear thirst trap into the day they die and he's out here explaining himself because he's one of them guys that actually do get attention on social media and she's upset because oh he gets attention and stuff like that is his social media his life his choice why are you stalking his page how do you know what stuff he got pinned and unpinned like that's outrageous i would not one time have i ever came on this show and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go search up these girls ig and i'm gonna go see who she pinned and who she didn't pin. like this is crazy now i want you to think about this this the only time i bring this up is this if this was a reverse let's say a woman was there and a guy was talking about some i went to your social media i, I feel like you only here for validation and attention and stuff like that you'd be thirst trapping heavy and stuff like that and, oh you gotta be insecure you gotta you gotta be one of the guys that's insecure you mad because I, I i get attention on social media you gotta be one of the guys, and you all in my social you stalking me and stuff like we'll call that insecure and weird and creepy He's validating himself for posting what he want to post on his social media. Like, if this was a reverse, they would call this, guys, <laughs> you couldn't pay me no money. You couldn't pay me no money. Like, this is crazy. No, no, but my social media is for me. And if my partner had an issue with that, we could talk it out. It ain't that deep for me, for real. Um, I, I feel that. like I'm representing myself well because my last name means a lot to me. That's a legacy to me. You know, so if it, my partner felt like something was wrong with that, I'd definitely take care of that for sure. I respect that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, let's head back. Okay, so off of those responses you heard, I am gonna have you pop one balloon. One balloon. One balloon. The one with the red. <laughs> or the orange or, or the pink um the orange just. Yeah. Okay, so why do we end up popping hers? She has a great energy and aura about her, right? It's just for me, just Got I have to feel up. more. Yeah. And I felt it, but I just need more for me. You know, you look great. Your response was amazing. Thank you. Top tier for sure. And you yeah. look great. Nice Thank smile. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. She looked yeah. great though. Got it. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, so definitely there's a physical attraction. Um, I like the tattoos. I like that you're tall, little buff. I see you be in the gym, a little bit. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, I think that, um, just kind of hearing him out and his responses and the affirmations was a big thing for me. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of waiting to hear a little bit more. They don't care about what this man is saying. They're all there for his looks. They do not care about what this man is saying. Whatever red flags that their mind is telling them, this could be a red flag. They do not give a damn. They do not give a damn. It's all about the aesthetics with this situation. 
I want y'all to pay attention when the aesthetics validates everything. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Ladies, um, are you happy? The reason I ask that is because I feel like before you can make somebody else happy, you have to be happy. I feel like a lot of people depend on somebody else's happiness to bring them up. And now nah, I'm not here for that. I can add to it. But yeah, I just really need to know. And with that, what is that to you? Okay. Happiness. Start over here. Okay. Okay, answer this question, please. Can I ask you to specify? I feel like you said, are you happy? Or do you mean that in the general sense? But then yeah. you talked more so in a relationship. Yeah, like, are you are you happy being like, are you happy enough to even enter a relationship? What is your, what is happiness to you? Okay, I would say I'm happy, but not content. And I mean that in the general sense, not in a relationship sense. So um, I, I, I'm happy with where I am. I'm happy with who I am, but I'm not content. Right, okay. I think there's always room for growth. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. All right. Let's go. Let's go over here. Uh, I feel like I'm a very happy person. Um, I'm happy with myself. I love myself a lot. Um, so I actually do like the fact that you love yourself the way that you do because I do want a man that's like that. Um, so I would definitely say I'm I'm happy with everything where I'm at now. I would say um, something that will make me happier is to become a family woman. So, <laughs> so yeah, Respect. just build my own family or you build our family and I, or I nurture our family. Yeah, so yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. And then do you want to answer this question? Um, in this moment, I'm very happy. Generally, I'm a happy person, bubbly, energetic. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are moments where, you know, I'm not happy. I might feel sadness or, you know, different types of emotions but the good thing is that I'm able to still be I'm still able to accept myself and be content in those moments mm -hmm. I think that's really important because if we aren't always you know content in these moments and accepting and appreciating right we're always going to want more we're always we're never going to be satisfied sure. so I think it's important to be you know satisfied with where you are now even if that's not where you want to be mm -hmm. Got you for sure. I know you guys want to hear from him too, right? Yeah. What about for yourself? <laughs> yeah, I remember how Jock was treated, balloons popping left and right, his teammate, lack of leadership. Jock had a better professional skill. Jock seemed more round grounded and more, you know, for a relationship. Jock lacked the physical traits to sit here and manage these type of women. These women are out here looking past everything because of aesthetics. Jock was more well grounded to be a husband and a father. You could look at Jock be like, because his profession, he doesn't have a record of doing wild things. He doesn't have a criminal record. He doesn't have kids out here out of wedlock. Doesn't have horrible past experiences with women. You would say Jock was way better qualified for a relationship, but this guy is getting all these women to giggle and laugh and some women feel like he's too good looking that she got to stalk him on social media and stuff they don't care for they're not thinking about their kids well-being they're stuck on that he looks good and this is what i want to be with if they was thinking about about their kids well-being they would be like jock would have been a better person you know even a guy with the colorful that i question if he's straight they have career fields that would have helped out the family provider roles and stuff like that they have background that you will be like, okay, he was seem more reasonable and more grounded to be a father. I wouldn't look at this guy and be like, oh yeah, he's the image of the guy that I'd be like, okay, he's a great father. He's in his career. This just off conversation and just demeanor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying he's less of a man or anything like that, but I'm saying that they're looking past certain qualifiers to be like this could be a great husband a great father a great leader compared to and then also your career for your your income matters so they, they say he's good on social media but again jock had a real career field he was more grounded he had he, he had the normal man flaw like he had a low insecurity in him leadership wasn't a thousand it, it was it was a little shaky there but it was like is things that he could work on right now. He could fix in, in a few months if he's like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Like he just have to be the right guys around him to tell Jock, stop being like this. Jock is an average man, but he has a good career. He makes good money. 
he was way more qualified to be a father and a husband. But the aesthetics wasn't there. And they're saying maybe if he was taller, maybe if he was more swollen and stuff like that. It, the, it's sad, guys. It's sad. It's sad. Because you can see the, the, the way they're carrying themselves now. The therapist is out here giggling and laughing and saying that, you know, uh, it's phenomenal. This girl saying oh, it's gr all these great things like they're all stuck on his physique. He can't do no wrong in their eyes. They're not thinking about their future husband. They're not thinking about their future kids. They're not thinking about the way they're going to live and survive and stuff like that. They're thinking about the here and now. He looks good and I want him. That's how they're looking at it right now. They're not thinking about all the other outcomes. And that's what I'm saying. Most of these women are not thinking about the whole A, B, C, D. Or no, they're just thinking about A. They don't have a plan B, C, D. Like, it's none of that's happening. So they got to literally think of, I, I would say, with women like this, you got to set them down and be like, you got to think your whole five years or 10 years past this moment right here. Do you think he'll be a great husband, a great father, a great leader? Do you think he'll provide and, you know, protect and stuff like that? Do you think this man qualified for all these things? You can't just say he looks good and we can figure the rest out. No. Jock is that you'll be like, he got the resources, the mindset and everything else. You can figure the rest out. This is right here. is going off extensions and saying we can figure the rest out. That's the crazy thing about this. What makes me happy is, you know, being there for everybody else. You know, that right there is why I do it every day. Uh, my grandmother raised me. Um, don't know my father, never seen him before. So seeing other people happy. Um, and again, seeing myself grow, that makes me happy. You know, so seeing other people win. I don't care if it's a friend, somebody I don't know. If they're doing good, I'm happy. Okay. So, yeah, that's what makes me happy, just being there for others. Got it. Okay, uh, Antoine, well, it is time to <laughs> pop a balloon. Which one out of these three beautiful ladies are you going to pop? Probably the workout girl. <laughs> you guys are making it hard for him. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, amazing. That's amazing. Um, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> okay i mean i saw that was really tough but why did we end up popping hers it was tough um energy great you have a great aura about you as well Thank you. you know you know you know it's a headache guys out of the women that was left out of the women that was left i believe he's more compatible with her and the woman with the pink, they will have, no, no, no. The one with the pink is the most compatible one because I, the reason I will kick off orange because orange, after she goes past his looks, after she's messing around with him, they're sleeping around, she will start picking at his brain. And she's gonna have that therapy mindset turned on in a million. She's gonna start breaking him down, psychoanalyzing him and stuff like that saying this and this about him and stuff like that, breaking down, maybe he's too cocky, maybe he's this, maybe he's this. The therapist will have this whole breakdown of him every single day after the intimacy and after the, like, the honeymoon phase disappears. She's going to start psychoanalyzing him. The reason why it wouldn't work with this woman, this is where I want you to pay attention to detail, guys. If you was watching the show since I started breaking this down, Jock, was in the software engineer business and stuff like that, I believe. Jock was way more capable of handling being a husband in a provider role. This woman right here, this dark skin woman right here, she's attractive. She said she does fitness and stuff like that. I don't know where her occupation is at right now, but she says she wants to be a stay at home mom. That's her goal. Like she doesn't want to work. I don't want to be hardworking. I don't think Antoine is out here going to sit here, provide all that to let her be a step. I believe they have to, both of them have to work to manage their lifestyle. She doesn't want to work. His career field and the stuff that he said, being a security guard, being um, a, a, a P, like a, a little school teacher or whatever, gym teacher or something like that. I don't believe his field of work could give her the type of lifestyle she's asking for. So her standards that she had when she started this show evaporated when this man is presented in front of her. She said that she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to be hardworking. 
I don't think his income could get for that type of lifestyle. Jock and the prior guy could have gave for that type of lifestyle. She did not. Re she rejected both guys that would have gave for that type of lifestyle that she was asking for because of aesthetics. So Jock comes in, and this is where I say you never believe their standards. So her standards was that I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I wanted you to take Jock. Nothing he said about his careers and stuff that he do that made me think. You know what? Jock could give you that lifestyle where you could be at home and you don't have to worry about the bills and stuff like that. Jock going to be like, you have to do some work too. Because he don't make enough from his income to take care of you and the kids in that type of lifestyle. Well, you could just be at home all the time. So the two guys that could do it and would probably be great at it, she didn't pick them because of aesthetics. She had all these excuses and saying that, you know, this is not going to work out. But the guy that's sitting here that cannot do it at all, she doesn't even give a damn. And she's saying that, you know, I'm ready for him to take me home. Your standards was that you want to be a stay. Because think about this. You, she said it here, not me. She said she's going to be a stay at home mom. She said it again in front of his face. Stay at home mom. And she wants to be taken care of. Nothing he said from the things that he do in life could give her that lifestyle. But because of his attractiveness, she's dismissing all that and saying that I'm going to give him a chance anyway, knowing that they're going to they're going to meet that hurdle. And she's going to be like, OK, she's willing to go to work for him. That's the reason she's going to she's willing to work and try to make this relationship work. That's what I need you to understand. She will have to go to work because they're going to understand that his income can take care of her staying home. So she's going to have to get some kind of job and do what she says she hated doing working but she would do it because he's aesthetically pleasing to her jock who could give her that lifestyle she would say nope i can't do it because of other reason and stuff like that but he could give you that lifestyle that stress-free lifestyle where you could sit at home and be the so-called stay-at-home mom that you want to be but because of the aesthetics is not there she doesn't want to do it that's where it's interesting, guys. When, when, when women tell you their standards and stuff like that, we meet women nowadays, even in the black community, they're, they're, I, we have a conversation. I'll be like, you know, they want this guy making this type of income, working in this type of field and all this thing. And then you see her with a bum that stays at her crib. And you'd be like, how do you reject me? And I would never ask for your money. I could drive you to all the dates. I have my own place. But the person that you let stay home with you is a guy that can't do nothing for you. and You got to do stuff for him. When I was willing to do stuff for you. So that's what I need you to understand. Like her standards evaporated, her mentality evaporated, and all the things that she so called claimed to be evaporated when she saw somebody that's attractive. She was willing to struggle with him, then be with a good man that would give her the lifestyle that she do want. The reason why it's not gonna work with a therapist, like I told you, she was psychoanalyze him break him down piece by piece after the lay in bed a few times she will start breaking him down the only woman that it will work will be with the um the woman with the pink dress on they will make it happen with social media she will get you know some views he will get some views both of them can go do their social media thing be a, a instagram couple whatever a social media couple and they're probably gonna get them view and, and monetize off each other they can manage that i believe they're the most compatible P pink dress and him the most compatible. They should they, they they should be together. He he won't make it with her because he's gonna tell her to work, and as soon or later she gonna get mad at it and be like, you know, I've been working and working and working, and she gonna say I can't be like this because my goal is not to work. So at one at one point the attractiveness is gonna die down. Like she's gonna sit there and say, I'm tired of working because she'll be so irritated. He would never work with a therapist because she will psychoanalyze him every single day. He gonna be like, I don't got time for this nonsense. He only got one option. Only got one option on the show. Pink dress, that's it. Um, it wasn't no real specific reason. These ladies look at me in my eyes like they trying <laughs> to take something from me. These two, and that's pretty much what it was. But uh that's that's pretty much what it was. She's great though. Yeah. Man, she looked great. She looked so great. why did you have your blue and unpop for him? Um, he smelled really good coming out. Like <laughs> just lit up the room. Um, and you are very handsome, well put together. I love your outfit, even though sure. I do not prefer my man to wear are those jeans considered jeans? These are these jeans. Yeah, I wouldn't um prefer my man to wear it, but I know clothes are changeable. Yeah. And um sure. you're 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 left-handed. Sure. <laughs> so left-handed people sure. are really smart. For sure. <laughs> 
but yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Let's head on back. Wait, hold up. Can I ask you a question? Oh, Where go you for from? it. Go. I'm from Chicago. You from Chateau? Yeah. Okay. I ain't changing my swag for nobody though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going down because you said, I, you said, because oh, you okay. said, um, we could change that. Yeah. Well, no, I said clothes are changeable. So, oh. which means you, one day you could wear jeans, another day you could wear slacks, or, oh, gotcha. you know, whatever you oh, prefer. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I just don't prefer a man that wears jeans all the time. Oh, no, I don't wear jeans all the time, but yeah. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> all right. <laughs> our two remaining ladies, any questions for our guy? She said yes. So I'll go to her first. All right. Let's start here. Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Can you, can my you... God is Muslim. My okay. God is Allah. Are you Christian or? I am Christian, but I, I personally believe there's one God and mm -hmm. you know, you can serve him how you choose to. Mm -hmm. uh, but so can you elaborate on your relationship with God? Um, talk to him every day. Um, it's a build, it's a work in progress, just like everybody. But am I faithful with my prayings and my dealings? I can't say I am, but I believe he loves me because how I am every day in everyday life. Um, I give good to people and uh, that's what he asked, to be a good person. Uh, give yourself back to the community and things like that, for sure. I appreciate your vulnerability, sure. saying where you lack. Sure. Thank you. Any questions here? Yes, can I ask two? <laughs> okay, the first one is what is something, what's a flaw about you? Maybe something that you feel like you need to work on uh, okay, I thought it was a two part. Uh, <laughs> They're completely different. One okay. at a time. Yep. <laughs> um, I would say care too much, you know, because you care about a lot of people, and uh, forget about yourself, because you're pouring in everybody else's cup. Even though I love myself mm -hmm. a lot, and I pour in myself a lot, but sometimes you can go out your, your way a lot as well. You what know, does, and that's a flaw. Oh, what does forgetting about yourself look like? Forgetting about myself. Uh putting others first so basically I guess you would say if I'm if somebody needs me I'm on call you know and I'll forget about this stuff that I have going on it could be finishing uh I guess talking to family some like it just depends on what it is honestly mm -hmm. I honestly don't know exactly what that is but I could forget about myself in many ways okay yeah. um political views Kamala or Trump I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not with none of that. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not into the politics. Um, I feel like they're gonna choose who they want. And it's not up to us to decide that. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> listen to. <laughs> Yo, listen to the nonsense, guys. This man literally. This whole entire man saying that I'm not into politics. Like, my dad is African. He is obsessed with what goes on in my country. Like, my dad is on the country, all the political matters. I'm not obsessed with America, political matters and stuff, but I am aware of it and I try to keep myself up to date on it. You want to be aware of what's happening out here in the governments and stuff and what they're doing. Like, you don't got to be an expert, but God damn, you, you should know. You should be into it. Like, if, if we, if two guys sit down and we want to talk politics and stuff like that, you want to have these conversations. You don't want to sit here and be like, I'm the biggest politician out here that want to actually talk about all the politics and stuff, but I can still invest into them conversations. This is the epitome of a tyrone or a chad let's say a chad i say chad every wire in a woman brain that's supposed to connect and make sense does not make sense are you voting for trump or kamala um i'm not into stuff like that politics nigga? like politics the state of the government like, I understand you could say that they, they do what they want with certain things and stuff like that, but you still want to be aware of what the people are doing and still have discussions about where you and this person stand on certain policies and certain things that's happening in the world. Like, it, this stuff matters. Because what they do in the government houses and stuff like that, what laws and policies they put in place and stuff like that, it trickles right back down to you. You are affected by the outcomes. 
You may not have complete control of it, but at least you want to be aware and talking about it, discussing about it. Like you don't have to have control to say, if I do this, it's going to change all this. No, but you at least want to be aware and always study what's going on. Like, and then when you have kids, you want to inform them about being aware of what this government will be doing out here. To sit here and say, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about stuff like that. That's outrageous. That is outrageous, as a man said. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, guys. You can't make it up. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and I won't lie. It, it could be a trick question because if he would have said Trump, she would have been like, oh. <laughs> You don't want to vote for Kamala, but still, damn, like he could have said, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I'm I'm looking into, I'm investigating myself, trying to figure out what everything's going on. But damn, to not really to just say I'm not worried about it, like that's crazy. That's crazy. It is the final round. It is time to decide which one out of these two ladies, balloon, are you going to pop? Keep the pink. You sick bastard. Oh, my God. Hey, why did we end up popping hers? <sighs> she looking through my soul? <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Look, she's looking like, what does he mean? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Um, That's cute. <laughs> honestly, um, I love your answers. I love your eyes. She is the most compatible with him. He would not make it a month with the therapist. This man needs Jesus. Eye contact. Mm -hmm. You actually had me thinking over here for real. So you challenged me in a way. Oh, my questions. Yes, you like that my was questions. outstanding for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love people who can challenge me. Yeah. You know, because that doesn't happen often. Um, so that's pretty much it. You look great. You came. You look amazing. Mm -hmm. And you popped because? Just energy. My I energy. I felt like your energy was great, but. Uh, okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let me have you scoot on that way. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any final? They're not going to make it, guys. They're not going to make it. No questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match. I do. Um, do you have children? I have no children. Okay. Uh, where do you live? In New Jersey. Okay. Well, do you have kids? I don't. Where do you live? I'm nomadic, so I work fully remote, and so I travel. Okay, where do you currently reside? I, right now, in Texas, but that's only for a couple more weeks. And then you'll be where? My next stop is Louisiana. Okay, um, how do you feel about long distance? Um, I guess it would depend on the person. Okay. That means you're open to it. Absolutely, and I travel, so... I can be where I, I want to be, you know? For sure. Okay. For sure. All right. All right, y'all. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match! <laughs> I will take this mic, and you guys can go on. Oh, let's make some noise for them! Oh, let me get out the way. Like <laughs> They're not going to make it, guys. They're not gonna make she gonna psychoanalyze him to death. They're not he had a way better compatibility with the pink dress on. She would have accepted all the non they, they would have managed each other way better than the so-called spiritual therapist. Like he's not gonna make it with her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next C 